Hey, my name's Corey Joyce. I'm here at uh, Dock and Rock 3. We're, uh, we're out here at Waterside Bar and Grill, Catawba, North Carolina. We're out here for a music festival put on by, by local people and see all the local live bands and uh, should be a good day. Hey there, I'm Ryan Joyce. I had a gig here out here on the deck where they do acoustic performances and I'm looking around at this big parking lot behind me and what I saw was just a big unused space and I had a vision for a big event out here and I asked Marge. Hi, I'm Marge. I'm the owner operator of Waterside Bar and Grill. Got here in the beginning of July. I said, hey, what are you doing with that space down there? And uh, she says, nothing yet. Is there something that you want to do? And that's when I said, maybe we could do a music event down there. A lot of great musical talent coming our way. Community coming together. Ryan Joyce and I hanging out um, and just, you know, supplying a, an, an awesome event where people get to hang out with one another, make new friends, just some lasting memories. Been growing over the years and that's basically how it came to be. Dock and Rock is all about promoting independent artists that are not corporately sponsored and owned. Uh, so this is a very important, unique opportunity for these artists to come out and uh, showcase their original music for a crowd that is under the impression that they're coming out to hear original music. Daniel Eagle's up here playing on the, on stage right now. Uh, he's a uh, he's a good local guy, and uh, Presley Layton. I've I've heard good things. I've heard good music. Well, I'm Presley Layton. I'm with the Presley Layton Band. We got a four piece country slash rock kind of situation happening. We're gonna have about half covers, half originals today at Dock and Rock Music Festival. Hello everybody, we're Danny Carr and the Skeleton Crew. This is our third year at the third annual Dock and Rock Music Festival at Waterside in Catawba, North Carolina. So we're super excited to be part of Dock and Rock 3 this year. This is our first time actually playing a music festival at all, so we're super pumped about it. Waterside Bar and Grill and Ryan Joyce have just been ridiculously supportive with all of this, and so we're just lucky to be here. I think that it's incredible that they are trying to support local artists as much as possible and people that are kind of trying to kick start their career in music. I'm super passionate about original music. As a songwriter, it's something that I focus on, focus in on in my artistic life day in and day out. So it's super important to me that we have real true artists and not someone who's just pushed by an algorithm that's corporately owned. This is my third time playing here and just Waterside Bar and Grill in general, but first time at Dock and Rock and I, I couldn't be luckier to be here. I'm so excited for it and we're gonna kick it off at five and see what happens. Every year it becomes something bigger and more responsibility on us as we grow this into a brand and more people come out. Uh, but the main thing is just more growth. You know, it's gonna speed up from here and the traction is gonna start gaining. It's gotten esteem over the years. You know, it's, it's built every year and you know, the gears have gotten a little more greased up as far as the production and the whole way it runs. So it's just a little smoother and, um, and it was, it, yeah. Yeah, the new docks, the new marina here at Waterside. With the marina being built, that has significantly impacted Waterside Bar and Grill as well. Uh, promote the Dock and Rock Festival itself as well. Every year we're adding new things. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I mean, I've worked with Waves, Waves Entertainment. Waves Entertainment is happy to provide the stage and the sound system for Dock and Rock 3. This is our third year here. It is a fantastic event and we're excited to be a part of it. Audio system, everything's got a little stepped up this year. Well, the stage itself is the biggest that we have, so we're excited for the audience to see this. We've got lights for later when the sun goes down and the audio system matches the stage. So in the past three years, we've stepped up the stage and the audio system a little bit each time. So we're excited for the audience to see the growth of what we've put forward with Waves Entertainment for their performance on stage for the audience. You know, the spectators out here and fans and things like that, seeing everybody come out and uh, hopefully a good uh, participation by everybody. Hi, I'm Mike Lane. I own Performance Hitch and Truck Accessories. I was just excited about coming out here and support. Dock everybody. and Rock 3, we've been doing it. It's our third year. Love to see how this has grown. Hi, my name is Christian Engel. I'm with Motors America, located on Highway 150 East of Randy Marion Chevrolet. I think it's awesome. The amount of community and participation in this event has been incredible. We love to be a part of it and bring our partnership with St. Jude in as a part to, to kind of grow the community and, and just have a great time. This is home base for us, you know, and for Danny, you know, for me and Danny, we met here, you know, so it was super fun. I was just glad to be a part of it.
I'm looking forward to doing this event annually. Good for everybody to to get out and, and support local music. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was I think it was perfect. I mean, from my perspective, we just want to continue each year to find local artists and support them, and invite them to the festival and just really have a good time. Yeah, I see this being an event that we consider a staple on our calendar in any way possible, whether it's bringing vehicles to showcase to prospective customers or bringing the community together by offering people the ability to it, uh, participate with our raffles that also give back to the community. We're always here to support them. We're going to see it grow and pick up traction uh, very fast as people start to realize the cool opportunity that they get to come out and see some up and coming artists. And I mean, who knows where these artists will be in the next couple of years and it'll give us a lot of recognition as we grow our roster of people that have come out to the festival. So I really just see it on a steady growth pace over the next couple of years. Thank y'all so much and looking forward to Dock and Rock number four next year. Let's see.